sem direta. nessuno perché <ride> okay, non dove vedo io domino per raggiungere la gente mm? ci vedi da lì? io non vedo niente sì, eccomi Today we are going to make uh, strocchie, that is a typical Italian pasta that I hope is uh, very easy for you and uh, is amazing and with also an amazing sauce that is caramelized tomato and the sauce we often make during our cooking classes, uh, our course because it's very successful one and I'm sure you can make at your home and you can like it uh, so much. I'm so happy to, to be here with you because uh, I hope that we don't just have something to learn but we can distract us from our bad thoughts in this period that you know is very bad. So now you are in my kitchen at my cooking school near Luca in Tuscany and uh, this should be one school where I have, I would have to uh, run here cooking classes and private dinners this year, but things are going very bad, you know, even if in Italy now is uh, better. And so uh, we have to take uh, all the, the parts that we have inside and go ahead, and I'm sure that everything goes better in a, in a few uh, days. In Italy now is much better. So as promised, we can, uh, we can start with our cooking. I hope that there are some friends and some customers of me um, today. Um, I'm very glad to, be, to stay with you. So we can start making strocchie, that is a fresh handmade pasta and it's not made with eggs. So even if you are vegan, you can follow this uh, recipe without any kind of problem. And uh, it's uh, very easy to make, just needs to be um, the right movement with your hand and so the, you have not to be worried about this because it is, everything is experience and you can make this and tonight you can have dinner with your dear friends without problem. So guys, let's go. We start making our pasta with the semola flour. You know what it is? Semola flour is a, a kind of flour that is not white, but it's a bit yellow. I want to show you better. So, are you see? It's a, a bit yellow because it's a whole uh, durum wet flour. We are going to make a dinner for two people, so we are going to take our semola flour and the measure of 200 grams that are almost two of these glasses right here and that are seven ohms around. Eh? Look at here. We make a hole here like when we go on the board but in this case we are not going on the pastry board because after we have to cut our uh, pasta here and we need a clean one. Ciao Cathy! Hi Cathy! So we go with this. The water should be the half part of the flour. Like always when you don't use eggs. So, flour is 200 grams, seven ounces, and water is 100 grams, that is uh, three ounces. So, 
So this time, as I told you, we start working inside the bowl because we have not to make a mess on our pot board. to work with the similar flower. It's just uh, less smooth than the double O1 that we use for fresh pasta with eggs. The double O1, many people ask me what kind of flower is, is the finest one. Double one is the purest one, so is the most, most processed uh, flower that you can have. So is that one that you use also in patisserie. As you know, every kind of flower depends even from the wet that and the humidity that you have in the air. Eh? So remember that when you go to make pasta, you always have to use water few at a time and it's always better to have less than too much. Huh? I hope that someone is making this with me at this moment, even if it's a work that is not so, so short but is not so long as well you can make with without cotton. Huh? So after you go on your pastry board and you stretch your pasta. I come here so you can follow me better. Go go ahead you take stretch and go ahead go ahead in this way. You work, go ahead, enlarge your fingers, and you stay here for five minutes at least, better than minutes, but now we are making for two people, so no problem if you don't work so much faster though. Go ahead, enlarge your finger, and you can feel under your finger that it's rolling on the pastry board. Okay, guys. At this point we take this, as I told you, and we put this in a bag. In a plastic bag, you can also cover with a film. This is important because it uh, uh, gives elasticity to your dough. So, when you think that you can make Pasta dough and after immediately work it. No, this is a mistake. You have to wait at least 10 minutes, but please wait because the pasta will be so much different when you are working this. At this point that we are waiting for the pasta dough that is taking the elasticity, we are going to make the tomato sauce with the, with the caramelized tomatoes, okay? So I show you. Thank you, Lucy. Hmm? Thank you. Don't... <laughs> I can't hear you. Dile grazie. Ah, allora. A Lucy. Come? A Lucy. Grazie Lucy, thank you Lucy, sorry, I, I, I have not my glasses on and I don't see anything even if I have my PC here, sorry. So guys, this is for the caramelized tomato sauce. We take some extra virgin oil. Show? I'd like to show the amount. So the pan is large, it's fairly large. And uh, first I want to tell you one thing about extra virgin oil. Um, extra virgin oil is not important. 
in the color. Many, th many people think that the color is important, that extra virgin oil has to be green. No, a good quality extra virgin oil doesn't depend on the color. It could be very good even if it's yellow because it's kind of olives that gives the color to the oil. Another thing to know is that the oil should be some, mm, a bit bitter. So, if it's bitter and if it's a bit spicy, this is the characteristic for a good quality extra virgin oil. So we have our tap, sorry guys. Non hanno capito cosa hai aggiunto alla farina. Se hai aggiunto okay. qualcosa. Okay, mm, my daughter see that you didn't uh, understand what I had to the flour, to the stemma flour. I had water. So I added just water. We use 200 grams of stemola flour and we use the half part of this, so 100 grams of water. So in ounce is 7 ounce, one glass until here two, is 100 grams, so it's 3 ounce. So 7 ounce that are 2 glass of this of stemola flour and 1 glass of water, that is the half part. Okay, we take this and we put here some garlic. I, sh mm, I suggest you, since we have to move this after, to put two cloves that we can cut in half. And we go on the fire. very hot. Huh? Since the fire doesn't work, we take this. Here is better. In this bowl we have cherry tomatoes that in Italy the one of the, ma the best cherry tomatoes that you can find comes from the Sicily and the name is Pacchino. So Pomodoro di Pacchino, tomatoes from Pacchino in Sicily. These are very good but don't worry you can have any kind of cherry tomatoes the important is that they are uh, not so sour but uh, sweet. So now this is very hot. We take, oh pardon, we take our garlic off of this in this way. And we go to put this that will make a real noise. Eh? At this point, immediately you have to put the salt that I use coarse big salt, rock salt, the sugar, in this way. Why I use salt? Because the salt is egoscopic and so it takes all the liquid from the tomatoes and they don't burn. But now we just had at the start because after they have to burn a bit. I use this uh, big salt, not the fine, just because it's uh, uh, more slow to uh, the salt, just for this reason. Um, this can't miss now, because this is very good now, so this can't miss. We have Absolutely to have basil leaves that I hope you like. Hmm? Basil leaves never cut with a knife or a fork, always with your finger. If the recipe is not a gourmet one, if you have not to fry, for example, basil leaves. Our 
are tomatoes. And maybe you don't believe to this, but we have not to touch them. So, no more touching them and waiting they burn. <laughs> in the sense that uh, uh, when you have these in the pan that are very noisy, at a certain point you can smell a caramel flavor, like they were burning. And so at this point you have to look, that, then I'll show you. And at this moment you can turn and steer again. C'è una ricetta pubblica. Uh, I am, mm, the question is if I have a recipe of this, of the sauce. Yes, I have the recipe of the sauce on, the, on my blog and I can uh, write after a link on the page or uh, under this uh, streaming if I will be successful to save it because I'm not sure if this is my first time. I hope that the Wi-Fi connection is good, guys, and I don't know anything. So anyway, you know, everybody know me knows that I don't leave alone anyone. So you can be sure that I, that I give you your recipe. And if you have other questions, please tell me, because we are waiting just this uh, few minutes for the tomatoes. Mi dici qualcosa? Oh, ok. 20 spettatori. Se non mi dicono oggi. If you have some questions, can tell me, eh? I'd like to see who is online. But, uh, ok, Carlo, yes, Carlo. Ciao Carlo. Che lui vuole che parli in italiano. Ciao Enrico, Sharon, Rachel, my friend. Carina, Sigrid, oh. I'm so, so excited to see you. Judy! Judy, Valentina, guarda la Vale. Hai visto l'ultima domanda? No, ora guardo l'ultima domanda. Uh, did you chop the garlic or put in the whole? Um, Rachel, I put the whole garlic and I just cut in half. So, two cloves. I cut in half, then when the oil is boiling and you see bubbles around the, the, the garlic, you take off the garlic from the pan and you set a party throw. Because the oil at that moment has already took the flavor of the garlic. So it's not important that you're still having the garlic inside. That's why I didn't chop, but just cut in half and then took off. Bellissimi, Jackie, grande Jackie. <laughs> you, you, I, commenti. I suggest you to make this uh, commenti non li vedo. <laughs> Carlo dice ciao Erika, sto guardando e ammirando. Grande Carlo! I'm very happy you are here. Guys, come with me that I want to show you the color that is changed. Unfortunately, you can't smell the... Look, this is light burning. You, you can see? It's brown. At this point, you can stir. Only at this point. So, you leave the tomatoes there. You don't touch anymore. You mix just when you see there is some brown and we leave it again for a few minutes. Okay, guys? This is a, a really good sauce that I'm sure you make and it will be a real success. And I'm so happy and excited to be with you and sorry if I did move it. Huh? Uh, um, maybe I don't know <laughs> what to say as well, but I'm very happy to be with you. So guys, now that the uh, tomatoes are uh, almost ready, let's take again our pasta dough. So remember, the, usually when you make this, you have to rest the pasta dough at 20 minutes. Eh? But in this case, we are making uh, this uh, 
demonstration and we are making uh, like a streaming together so it's uh, more difficult to have a lot of time but the time is passed and now as you can see it's very soft so he took the elasticity and it's very different from before now I'll show you again because I turn off the fire so some tomatoes are brown you can see we stir again and the point you can smell and now with this uh, this is a perfect pan we turn off the fire dicono che stai facendo molto bene e molto facile da capire this is very simple uh, simple thank you for your um, for your word, yes, it's true, it's very simple, you can make it at home without any problem, but remember, it's amazing, and I'm sure of the success of this uh, sauce, you tell me after. So now we leave this here, and the tomatoes will be more uh, full of uh, um, the sugar that they have inside, because we leave this and we melt a bit, uh, another bit. So guys. Let's take this. You see how our board is very smooth. So this is the first thing that you need when you're going to make croque. We cut the small piece and we put in the bag again. We work by hand. And we go enlarging this like it was a snake, okay? So we didn't have oil, we didn't have anything, just water and semola flour. That is cool durum wet flour. Semolina di grano duro, giusto? Sì, semolina di grano duro. This will be much easier after 20 minutes, eh, guys? Anyway, we try to make it. Even now, eh? Semolina di grano duro. Okay, so we, you arrive to this point that is uh, one centimeter thick, so it's uh, one third inch, hmm? one third inch, yes, I think, yes, I'm not sure, and we cut in very small pieces, anyway, you can see this, huh? We go again with this. We make another, so after I can show you very well how to make it, because profit are easy, but you need to practice, huh? To practice a lot. But they are so good because all the sauce goes inside them. So guys, I'll show you. Huh? Anche commenti. Come? Allora, dunque. <laughs> Grazie Monica. <laughs> Grazie Rita. Oh, Lucy, grazie mille. Oh, Gloria, Gloria. Hope you are very fun, huh, today? Even if this night we talk together because we didn't sleep. 
Okay guys, now we, we try to make profit with this. You use this part of your hand and you have to be natural in the movement. I put this here because it's very wet. Okay. So you use this part, you go pressing, then you make a curve and turn in this side. So maybe here they can see better. And remember that now I go very slowly, so maybe it will be not so nice, but it's, uh, it's uh, just to, to teach. Huh? So we go here, we turn, and we have a curve. And we leave our trophy there. So tell me if you can see, if this is the right... Uh, kind of vision. So, we start with this part, we go, we turn, and we take a curve, and we leave there. Again, with this, that I think you call pinky, so with this, you go, now we go faster, and we have a curve, okay? So if you go faster, they are better, of course. You go, you turn, and you curve. Okay? We go with a pinky, we turn, and we curve. So we make this for a bit. Okay, so enjoy this. Ciao Erika. Ciao. Mi dici te che non capisco i cioè non vedo Cisha. I love your demonstration, Lucy. Oh <laughs> grazie Lucy. Rachel, credo si dica, ha detto che è molto divertente e sta facendo questo per sua figlia Sharon che è il suo compleanno. Sì, Rachel, I know that it's the birthday of Sharon. Yes, I told her happy birthday. Shar um, if someone can take a picture of what you are doing, please give me. La, look at this. We can even put some in a cotton towel like this. So guys, uh, if someone is trying to make this like Rachel, I'm very happy for this because at this moment, if you see, I'm sure you make a very good job. And in this way, you can see. When you see that is something that is not round, you can use the pinky. The pinky is your assistant, very good assistant in making trophia. So we go, we have, and we go. Remember that you can also have a smaller one, but in this case, we have this for the simple uh, reason that is very fresh, the pasta. Eh? If you wait a, a bit more, it's much better. Remember also that trophy will be not um, always nice to see. There will be some trophy that doesn't come, that have an ugly <laughs> shape. Don't worry. You can, the, the, the fantastic thing of making the pasta is that you have uh, every kind of shape, but then when you have on in your dish with your sauce, they are fantastic as well. So. Jackie dice che vorrebbe essere con te nella tua cucina. <laughs> E godersi il piatto insieme. <laughs> Jackie, you can't imagine how much I'd like to be with you. Me too, because I miss you so much. And uh, I miss you also, your friends and this wonderful family. And uh, I always uh, follow you on Facebook and your adventures. So it's the same for me. But you have to make this, eh? Karen invece dice che è fantastico e le piace molto poter vedere qualcosa che viene fatto a mano. Oh, 
Thank you, thank you, Karen. I know that you like so much uh, to watch someone who is uh, preparing. Like when we uh, when we come to you near Luca, you remember? And uh, I know that one of the first things that you told me was, I'd like to see you uh, while you are preparing our dinner. And I was so so happy to show you our preparation and. Uh, I was so happy to, to meet you and your friends. That's why we are friends now. Entrato Filippo. <laughs> and Filippo, my friend, <laughs> is coming in now. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you, you saw so how we can make the, the, the curve. That is uh, very important to know this movement. Eh? So we we do again. We work. So we work. Our pasado that is not so elastic because we didn't rest it so much. Anyway, we go. Okay, go, go, go. Like making a snake, like the play doh, you know, <laughs> with the children. Okay. So, guys, I want to show you again the right size. So please, Ginevra, come here that I show you the right size of this small snack, snake, pardon, that is uh, even a snack, yes, okay. So hoping they don't stick together because the pasta is very fresh. We leave this here. And I can't use flour now because if you use flour you got to touch the pastry board and then it's no good when you roll. So remember when you make at home, your pastry board should be very smooth. Hmm? So we go again. If you stay here... Carlo dice attenzione alle dita. <laughs> yes, Carlo, but this, this is not dangerous. E Karina dice grazie. Molto divertente guardarti cucinare di nuovo. Oh, che bello. Thank you, Karina. So, guys, I show you again. I go with this part of the hand and I go to make a round and I put here the dough and your pasta that is made now. Eh? I just help. Now I have to put some flour here, hoping it doesn't go there. I recommend you. We use this part. I hope it is what you rub, so maybe some flour go here and you have your trophia. You use your pinky. Quindi la pasta è rollata su una superficie non infarinata. 
Yes, you have not to floor the board uh, to floor the board when you work with this kind of pasta. The board has to be smooth. Also this, similar to marble. Uh, also this one, that is plastic, it's very smooth. Um, when, is, uh, when there is the, the flower, um, it squeals. And so there is not friction. In this case, and I think in all the past that you make um, by hand without egg, you need the friction. So you need to rope here and you need it scratch over the pastry board, over the board. You turn and you get. And there we go. Carlo dice che assomigliano ai malloreddus della Sardegna. Mm, yes, Carlo, they are similar to, to ma Malloredus. Uh, Malloredus are maybe a bit uh, uh, smaller and uh, anyway they are made with the same uh, stemola flour and uh, water, maybe they put some oil and uh, we can make uh, cavatelli that are similar to Malloredus another time. If you want, no problem. I like very much to make pasta because um, it's like uh, to take away the stress. You understand me, I think. People who love uh, cooking understand me when I say that the stress go away. So it's not only a, a passion, it's a, a therapy. In this period, more than in others. Huh? Guys, so we go making other Trophy. As you as you can see, I go very slowly because you know that I want you can have a very good result. Eh? I don't want you just to watch me. I'm sure you have a fantastic dinner. Lucy dice che per lei è come una meditazione. Yes, Lucy. Uh, yes. It's a meditation, yes. We can, uh, we can uh, run uh, cooking classes like uh, it was a mindfulness uh, meeting uh, and we can be on Zoom or other <laughs> platform. If you, Lucy, I don't know if you are making this with, uh, with me because uh, I, I think that Rachel is making and I'd like to see one picture <coughs> of the, the creature of Rachel. And uh, if you are making this, I'm sure that is a kind of uh, meditation because when you, when you make a short pasta like this, uh, there is a very, very big satisfaction. And here you don't re you need a rolling pin, you don't need a pass machine, just everything from scratch with your hands. And so it's so incredible. Uh, and uh, it's incredibly to have uh, um, a so lucky possibility to stay very well and fine with so few things. Rachel chiede se i pomodori stanno a fuoco medio o o Hi. or do we turn it down to low after a while? Ah, okay. Rachel, tomatoes, you go with maximum fire. You put tomatoes in at the maximum fire they make a very big noise be careful i tell you this, i tell you this but to everyone be careful because now i have a very big pan large but if you have a, a pan and you have a lot of tomatoes inside maybe they can make a big flame so be careful because they are acid sour and this a substance that they have inside when you put in a hot oil make the flame make the fire so be careful no problem I, I always flam the, the tomatoes because it's good but I tell you this so you go with maximum fire and then you uh, continue to cooking them uh, with the with the salt and to, you leave medium fire so after the maximum of uh, immediately putting them you go medium fire until you don't smell they are burning. You turn, after two minutes, 
five minutes maximum, you turn again and they are ready after I show you. Katy chiede, when you roll the pasta, do you twist them or just roll them long and skinny? Uh, when I roll the pasta, um, when I make the snake, I just cut the snake and after here I, I twist, but here, um, Ginevra, come here that I show to Cathy, the right movement. Now, now this is a, a bit longer than other, but I show you. I start with the pinky here, I turn, you see that I twist, okay, with the, this part. Now I will be very slowly. So you twist on the board. This is the only a, a snake of pasta and you have to twist when you are on the board. Ti ringrazio. <laughs> oh, grazie. You're welcome, dear. E Lucy dice che non sta cucinando niente perché da lei a Melbourne è luna di notte. Oh, Lucy. Ah, oh, Lucy, anyway, I'm happy to be with you. Uh, at this time because uh, as I told you before uh, with my friend Gloria tonight I uh, was woke up at one o'clock me too a bit because I was uh, moved for uh, today maybe <laughs> but I think also for other uh, thoughts that we have uh, in this period and so <laughs> I understand you and I have I'm happy we we are together uh, even if I think that this uh, screaming will be saved and so there, are, there will be no problem to, to cook this so, so nice that you are with us so far away ecco fatto Now we work it again to make our snake just to show you again how we can do it. Enlarge. Then we go to switch on our fire with the water for the pasta. Okay guys, now it's much better because it passes sometimes and so the dough take all the elasticity it needs and next time we can make uh, orecchiette for example or cavatelli that are similar to Maloredus uh, from Sardegna that Carlos told us before ecco fatto Watch your fingers. So we go again, huh? We go again and before. Oh, I go with the fire. I want to show you the salt that we are going to put in the water. This is just water. And I go to put here this amount of coarse salt. If you have, if you have fine salt, you use two, uh, one half teaspoon very um, little. 
Usually I put the salt before that water is boiling, so at the start, because so I'm sure that I don't forget. This is the trick. And uh, another thing that I want to tell you is that this pan with the tomatoes should be um, a non-stick pan. Uh, I recommend you don't use uh, um, a, an iron pan or something that can stick in the pan, otherwise tomatoes will be not caramelized, but just they stuck at the pan and they will be not sweet. So guys, we go again. Pinky, start with this, turn and make a curve. Rub here, press. You can do this movement in many, many ways. Everyone has his method. This is mine, but you have just to roll and twist the pasta over the board. So don't worry if you have another shape. There are also people that put this here in vertical and go in this way. So this is another method. But the trophy is the same. The trophy is a pasta that comes from Liguria. Liguria is a region in the north of Italy. And the, the sauce, uh, the excellent sauce for trophy in general is the fresh pesto sauce made with the fresh basil. So don't miss this possibility. If you have a lot of fresh basil leaves, you have just to chop this or to work this with a, even with a um, immersion blender. I use this with extra virgin oil, garlic, pine nuts, and then you have a perfect uh, uh, pesto sauce. Carlo dice che potresti provare a farlo con due mani, doppia ve velocità. <laughs> Carlo, you're boring! <laughs> Carlo is, is always joking. Scary. Ho messo la faccina che piange. <laughs> no, no, I, I thought you are bored. No, you're bored. You are bored about my, my work. <laughs> Sorry. Ti annoi. Volevo dire ti annoi. <laughs> you know my English is not uh, so wonderful as yours, eh, Carlo? So we have Rachel that is uh, preparing this, another person that is watching and I'm sure that now that you watch it me, you can do it in a fantastic way, I'm sure. Because I think that watching, learning by doing and watching is a, a half part. Lucy dice che il tuo inglese è eccellente. Oh Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, thank you. It's not true, but <laughs> this makes me so proud to have my customers and students all over the world. We are almost finished, guys. Katie dice, I missed making the pasta dough. Is it one cup of flour and how much olive oil? Are these the only two ingredients? Mm. Kathy, only two ingredients for trophie. Just semola flour, so two cup, mm, in two glass of flour, semolina flour that is whole uh, durum wet flour, and one glass of water. That's all. Two, one. This is the right proportion when you usually make short 
uh, pasta without egg. So no egg short pasta. Rachel chiede se possiamo vedere come è la salsa adesso. Of course. We we have to again to to switch on our fire. You see there is something that is brown, okay? So now I'll go to pour our pasta here. Then I drain and I put there. But before I took some water from the pot because in the water with the pasta, not now, but when we pour the pasta, there will be some uh, starch, the starch that comes from our Flour, in this case semolina flour and the starch is very important to make every kind of sauce so remember every kind of sauce needs a bit of starch when you don't use obviously when you don't use cream when you don't use any kind of uh, ingredient that is not uh, fresh so you have not to use uh, any kind of flour but because you have already the starch in your water. So very simple, few ingredients, two ingredients, three if you consider the water. So, uh, but you tell me how it will become this, uh, this sauce. So we go pouring our pasta. It's not necessary that you go pouring one by one. You can also throw everything with your um, mm, towel with, without problem. But I prefer this because I am a bit far from the pot. And uh, it's just to show you that it's uh, very fast. Huh? During uh, this, uh, this uh, showing to you is uh, obviously that the water now is not hard boiling, so it's much better to put the pasta in this way, but when you pour the pasta in the water that is boiling, immediately it comes down, and so after we have to wait again, it boils. Some people put extra virgin olive oil in the water, even in Italy. So it is not true that um, there is a, a precise rule that you have, do, you have not to use. Some, some people use, I prefer not to use because uh, um, the academy, but also the experienced uh, women that cook it with me, uh, like my granny, for example, but also at school, everyone always told me that uh, with the oil you get impermeabilizing the pasta. So um, the, you, you can't um, help the sauce to go inside the pasta if you put extra virgin oil because everything squeals over your fresh pasta. This is a bigger, if I can, I'd like to put here so we can make it faster. At this point, I go also to the other, to the hour sauce. 
and now we take some water like I told you before and there is the starch we wait I want to wait is more is hotter I want to wait just one moment because the, the pan is already very hot but remember in kitchen always calm <laughs> because sometimes we think to be in a hurry to make things faster but they are always better when you are calm and you wait your time Rachel, uh, Rachel dice our dough is still sticky and not twirling like it should uh, Rachel, if your dough is sticky it's because you uh, used the uh, zero zero uh, the all-purpose flour I remember this and so in this case had more flour had more flour and uh, um, leave to rest uh, 20 minutes 10 minutes anyway if you had more flour maybe you can right now to make it again so when you see a sticky mine too because now there is the wet here and the temperature is uh, particular anyway had more flour so guys, I show you, I put the water here, so just one this. I don't go to touch, but just to screw the pan. And you see that profi are ready in uh, three, four minutes maximum. Uh, I think that I'd like to tell you is not true that pasta is ready when camped up over the pot. Uh, gnocchi are ready when they are camped up on the pot, but pasta in general, like this, is not still ready. We have to wait some time. In general, pasta, uh, fresh pasta is three minutes. When is with the filling? It's a six or seven minutes depending from the, uh, the, th the thickness because uh, there is a filling so you have double layer. If you need, if you have some questions, tell me that <laughs> The Ginevra helped me to understand um, uh, because I don't see anything without my glasses, but I can help you. Very, very happy to help you if I can. Tu guarda un po' che c'è, non so. Allora, Karen. Karen, come mi piace Karen? Se lo fa, non... <ride> La Monica, non, ci... non riesco più a vedere le cose in streaming. C'è anche Claudia, mi sa. La Claudietta. Ok, guys. Now we can go to strain our pasta and I said to Rachel and the other to, sh to look at this. So we go straining this and put directly in our pan. In this way. Katie, ti ringrazia per cucinare con loro. Bellina. Grazie Katie. Grazie a te. Hope you and your husband will be happy to eat this. So, a new, something new to eat apart from tortellini that I remember you always prepare. So you can see the color is fantastic, is amazing. I know you can smell, but I hope you can understand that this is a really amazing sauce. 
right, even just watching. So we turn off. And... Gloria Gaddini chiede mm -hmm. quale pasta fai con le uova e quale pasta fai solo con l'acqua e la semolina? Mm e eh, usi sempre la semolina per la pasta o quando usi la doppia zero o usi la doppia zero when you, when you, Gloria, when you make uh, pasta with the eggs you use uh, in general you use uh, or double o flour or only or double o flour um, and semola flour so you can mix together half and half doesn't mention in general you make egg pasta, fresh egg pasta for some kinds, some types of pasta. So you have tagliatelle with egg. When you make ravioli they are with egg apart from Chinese and Japanese one that they have no eggs. And if you make tortellini is the kind of pasta with egg. If you make short pasta in general, short pasta is with no is a no egg pasta, is egg free pasta like orecchiette, uh, trofie, uh, maldoreddus, cavatelli and picci that are a very long pasta, it's like a huge spaghetti. They have they have no egg inside. So I think is uh, strozzaperetti, there are some uh, kinds of pasta that is not so short but they have no uh, eggs inside. So you have to think to the pasta and then you know if you need eggs or not. I hope to, to have answered it here. Jackie dice che è molto affamata. <laughs> Jackie, come here. We hit together. <laughs> Mary dice che sembra fantastico. Mm, this is fantastic, guys. You have to eat this with a fork, obviously. And uh, I know it's fantastic. I, I, I don't want to, to taste it <laughs> because I, I, I taste. Sorry, sorry. I hope you have something to taste with me. Guys, made this and after you, you tell me how is this. I'm so happy to, to have been with you uh, in this period and uh, for this uh, streaming cooking class. I hope there will be others and uh, maybe you can give me your ideas to share with together and to, to hit together. I made this for you and uh, I tell you, take care, good luck. And uh, buon appetito. If you have some, some questions, um, I'm here to answer you, eh, guys? Allora, Gloria dice che ha capito adesso, non ha mai visto la, la pasta corta fatta solo con la semolina e acqua e quindi è ansiosa di provare. Sì, Gloria, you have to try. The pasta just made with semolina, flour and water is fantastic. You can also have some oil when you, when you want with no problem but uh, is uh, very very good just with only stemola flour and uh, uh, water just remember the double of stemola the half of water carlo chiede niente formaggio carlo i know that uh, that uh, uh, mm, the, the cheese is very very good and uh, so you can put the, the cheese here in uh, and i thank you for this question because uh, I wanted to tell, but I forgot. Here, in this uh, fresh tomatoes, caramelized tomato sauce, I usually don't put cheese because I like this kind of sauce without. But if you like, you can. Just, I ask you one thing, before you taste, 
then you decide if you put the cheese or not. And if you put, I suggest you not parmigiano, but grana padano that is the youngest and is more delicate. Because this is very delicate, but it's fantastic and sweet. So the savor of the uh, cheese is a bit uh, um, uh, against. Lucy, ti ringrazio, ti do la buonanotte. Lucy, buonanotte, sogni d'oro. Thank you a lot. Hope you stay well. Hope we keep in touch. Come on our page. Come on our group, Dolce Vita in Tuscany. And uh, we'll be together. And um, hope to meet you another time. Anche Carina si ringrazia e ti dice di stare bene. Carina, thank you. Thank you to you. I uh, hope your um, sons are all uh, and your daughters are all fine and your husband too. Uh, take care and good luck to you too and keep in touch. Judy dice che anche lei ti ringrazia e non vede l'ora di provare. Judy, grazie mille. I answered you in Italian because I know you you teach Italian, you are very good. So Yes, you have to try, prova and let me know. Fammi sapere, sono sicura che sarà un successo. Carlo dice grazie anche alla tua collaboratrice. <laughs> Carlo! Prego. Yes, we have to thank you Ginevra. Uh, and Ginevra uh, is saying welcome Carlo, you are welcome Carlo. <laughs> thank you. Maria eh, dice che uh, si è persa all'inizio e chiede cos'è la salsa. Ah, uh, Maria, the sauce is just caramelized tomatoes uh, sauce. So it's made with cherry tomatoes that you have to cut. And uh, if they are very small, you just cut in half. If they are a bit bigger, you cut in three or four parts. But you leave almost whole. So in the half part is the best if they are like a cherry. Evelyn, ti ringrazia. You're welcome, Evelyn. Thank you to you. Jackie dice baci dall'America. Jackie, Jackie. Miss you, stay well. Gloria dice congratulazioni per la tua prima live. Mi dispiace che non possiamo annusare e assaggiare. Brava e grazie. Oh, Gloria, thank you. Thank you very much for your congratulations. I'm so moved, I'm so happy. And uh, I can't believe that I made this, uh, but uh, thank you to you. So, guys. I, I leave you, I know that we, everyone is keeping in touch, that we are always together and uh, have a nice time, so happy to have been with you, buon appetito, ciao!